get busy, such a lot to do. Building and fixing till it's good as new. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Can we build it? Scoop, you and Lofty are coming with me to Farmer Pickles. We better go too, Muck. I should get started on those cabinets. Yeah! They'll go into the new museum wing that'll be opening soon. But, Wendy, can I come too? Please? I've never seen a museum. <laughs> oh, I guess that's okay. Oh, great! Thanks, Wendy. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Uh, yeah, I think so. You see, Bob, it's all this rain we've been having. It's made my field so muddy, nothing's going to grow in it. No problem, Farmer Pickles. We'll lay these pipes to drain the water off. All right, let's get started. Oh, what do you have there, Mr. Ellis? Lots of things. Things that tell the story of the town and what it used to be like in the old days. See this? It looks like an old pot. It is an old pot. A very old pot from the Bronze Age. It's more than 4,000 years old. It means that there have been people living around here for, oh, well, for... For ages. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Scoop, there's something down there. Um, uh, what is it, Bob? It looks like a massive big bone. Huh, it's too big to be a cow's bone, but it just might be a dinosaur's bone. <laughs> a dinosaur? Oh. It's all right, Lofty. The dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. There aren't any around these days. Can I help, Bob? I think this is a job for an expert. We should call the museum. You found a what? Uh, Bob's on the phone, Mr. Ellis. Uh, he thinks he's found a dinosaur bone. <gasps> Would you like to talk Here to I... him? Oh, 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 oh. Is that right, Bob? A dinosaur bone? Oh, wonderful. I'll be right there. Oh, oh, I, uh, where, where exactly are you? Uh, This is wonderful. I've dreamed about finding one of these since I was a boy. Oh, 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 oh. This looks like a vertebra, and another, and, oh, and here's a... Oh, oh. You know what I think we've got here? A stegosaurus. That's incredible, Mr. Ellis. I thought Bob said it was a, a dinosaur. A stegosaurus is a kind of dinosaur, I, I think. Well, Bob... That's everything. You know what? I think maybe we found a complete skeleton. Is that good? Good. <laughs> good. It's fantastic. A complete skeleton is very rare. All right. I'll go back to the museum and uh, see how we can get the bones back there. I can take them, Mr. Ellis. Well, thank you, Scoop. But uh, these bones are very fragile. They might break inside your Scoop. I'll, I'll have to call for some special help. But I, I, I will need someone to guard them while we're waiting. I could do that, Mr. Ellis. Good idea, Scoop. And I'll go get a big tarp from the yard to protect them. Come on, Lofty. There. That should protect them from the weather. And I'll protect them from everything else. All right, Lofty. Let's go and see how Mr. Ellis is doing at the museum. Scoop? What? Oh, it's you. Yes. What are you doing? I'm guarding some very important bones. 
I found them, you know. Oh, let me have a look. Let me. Sorry, Spud. These are dinosaur bones, and I'm not allowed to let anyone see them. Not even a little peep? No. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll let you see the bones I've found if you let me have a look at yours. Where? In that field over there. They're much bigger than your bones. Really? Yeah, and I'm not allowed to let anyone see mine either. Well, Mr. Ellis won't mind if I just take a quick look. <laughs> now, let's see. <gasps> wow! Spud, were you making things up? I couldn't find any bones. Spud? Where'd he go? Oh, Scoop! I've come to pick up the bones. No problem, Mr. Ellis. Wonderful. Really wonderful. Oh, my. And I was sure we had a complete skeleton. Oh, well, I'll just have to make the missing bones out of plaster. Oh, never mind, Mr. Ellis. It still looks brilliant. Yes, but a complete stegosaurus would have made our little museum famous all over the world. Maybe there are still some bones left in the field. I'll go back and take a look. Poor Mr. Ellis. He was so disappointed. Bob, you don't think the missing bones might be the one Spud found? Spud? Yes, he told me he found some even bigger bones in the next field. But when I went to look, I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, Scoop, you didn't leave our bones unguarded, did you? Only for a minute, Bob. It was when... When... Oh, no! Spud! Spud? Spud! Step right up, step right up! Come and see the fiercest, most scary, fierce dinosaur ever! What's that, Spud? This is a Spudulosaurus. Looks like a lot of old bones to me. Where did you find them? He found them near the bones I found. Didn't you, Spud? I, uh, I... that might be true? Well, they're not yours, Spud. They belong to the museum, and we have to take them back right away. Oh, sorry, Bob. I was only looking after them for a while, honest. Isn't it magnificent? Oh, it's, it's, it's great! Who'd have thought the dinosaurs used to live around here? Oh, I'm glad they don't now. Oh, I would like to be chased by one of them. Well, Bob, Wendy, thanks for all your help. I'm sure the museum is going to be a great success. Especially with uh, your cabinets. And I'd like you to give this to Scoop for finding the skeleton in the first place. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. Oh, what is it? You'll see. Mr. Ellis said this was for you, Scoop. A reward for finding the skeleton. Wow, a toy stegosaurus. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Pilchard. Oh, poor Pilchard. <laughs> if she's frightened of that, just think what she'd be like if she saw a real dinosaur. <laughs> like a Dizzyosaurus! <laughs> or a Scooploticus. Oh, oh, look out! Here comes a roly dactyl And the mighty Muckasaurus Rex! Wow! It's like watching fireworks! Yeah! Uh, Wendy, what's Bob making? He's building a time capsule. Wow! <laughs> Does that mean we can travel back in time? <laughs> no, Dizzy. It's a kind of box that you can keep things in. Everybody in town is giving Mr. Ellis something to put inside. Why? He's going to bury it outside the museum. Then in 100 years, people can dig it up and find out about the way we live. In 100? 
hundred years? Oh, that's forever! <laughs> yes, it is a long time, Dizzy. Mr. Ellis is going to bury it this afternoon, and we're all invited. Hello, Farmer Pickles. Ah, hello, Spud. Get down, Scruffy. I want you to deliver these eggs to the school. Okay, Farmer Pickles. And try to be careful. Be sure you don't break them. Oh, oh. Uh, Spud's on the job, Farmer Pickles. No, no, Scruffy. I'm not playing. I'm working. Ta-da! Look, everybody, it's done. Wow! Fantastic! Oh, good job, Bob! Uh, thanks, team! All right, Muck, let's take this over to the museum. And Scoop, we'll need you to help us clear away the rubble. Can we clear it? Yes, we can! Oh, go away! Shoot! Oh, no! It's not funny. I was being really careful, too. Here you are, Mr. Ellis. One time capsule. Oh, Bob, it looks very impressive. Thank you. Mm, it's built to last forever. Oh, look what I've got here. Today's newspaper. Oh, some special stamps from Mavis at the post office. A school cap from Mrs. Percival. Good morning. I've, uh, I've brought my, uh, little contribution to the time capsule. It's, it's a model of City Hall. I made it myself, you know, from, from matchsticks. Wow! It must have taken ages. Yes, Bob. Twenty-eight and a half hours, to be exact. Okay, we better get back to work. <gasps> See you later. Bye! Bye. In case you were worried, I think you'll find it's completely to scale. Ah, is that the time capsule? It certainly is. Have you brought something to put inside it? I have, Bob. <laughs> it was very hard to choose, but I think a Wellington boot is the best thing for a farmer to put in. What a great idea, Farmer Pickles. In it goes. Hello, everyone. Oh, hi, Mr. Mr. Dixon. Dixon. Look, I've brought a photo of the town to go in the time capsule. I took it last week from a hot air balloon. Hey, an aerial photo. Oh, look, Bob. You can see the yard really clearly. Oh, yes. Oh, let's show it to Mr. Ellis. I've uh, got to get back to my deliveries, but uh, good luck with the time capsule, huh? See you later. Now, you wait there, Scruffy. Good boy. <laughs> Hello, Spud. Hi, Mrs. Percival. I brought your eggs. Oh, I see they're a bit cracked. Sorry, Mrs. Percival. I've been walking for ages, and I was chased by a dog and chased by a crow and... Oh, poor old Spud. It's a good thing the cook's making omelets today. Whew. Well, that's okay, then. See you, Mrs. Percival. <laughs> Bye, Spud. Woohoo! Hi, Scruffy. <laughs> you can't chase me now, can you? <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> oh, wow. A pirate treasure chest. <laughs> Long John Spud's found treasure. What's that, Scruffy? Do you want to be a pirate, too? <laughs> Sorry, shipmate Scruffy. It's finders keepers. <laughs> Shush, Scruffy, or I'll make you walk the plank. <laughs> Give us a ride, Travis. All right, Spud. Hop in. Oh, no. It's full of garbage. Where's the treasure, huh? Oh. Huh. Uh, Wendy, where's the time capsule? Well, it was... It, oh, it was right here. Where did it go? I don't know, Bob. Oh, we better go tell Mr. Ellis. Bye. No, it's 
It's a disaster. It can't be far away. <coughs> Scrofty, how did you get off your leash? And what are you doing with my boot? That's the boot I put in the time capsule. Scrofty, do you know where the time capsule is? I think he wants us to follow him. All right, Scrofty, find the time capsule. <coughs> Time to bury you, my little treasure chest. Don't, Scruffy, get off. Spud, what have you got there? Uh, my treasure chest, Farmer Pickles. <gasps> Spud, that's not a treasure chest. It's Mr. Ellis's time capsule. But I found it. It was all full of garbage. That uh, garbage was all the special things people uh, donated. Spud, you can't just help yourself to things that don't belong to you. I'm sorry, Farmer Pickles. Sorry, Mr. Ellis. And you're very lucky that Scruffy the detective found you before you buried it. Thanks, Scruffy. <laughs> but I can't <laughs> <see you now. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor sends his apologies, but he has been unavoidably detained, so he's asked me to say a few words on his behalf. I'd like to thank everyone who has worked so hard on this time capsule, especially Mr. Ellis, who had the idea. (laughs) Thank you, Mr. Bentley. And without further ado, I'd like to ask Bob and the team to bury the capsule. All right, Lofty. Lower it now. Okay, Bob. There, it won't be opened for one hundred years. It's all right, Scruffy. It's supposed to be buried this time. <laughs> Can I have everyone's attention, please? I'd, I'd like to make a special presentation myself. This is for Scruffy for being a great detective and finding the missing time capsule. <laughs> Terrific job, Scruffy! That's it, Lofty! One more! What's this stuff for, Bob? Well, Muck, today, you, Lofty, and I are going to repair an underground water pipe over at Farmer Pickles. What about the rest of us, Bob? Well, Scoop... You're going to help me build a car wash over at the garage, and Lofty's going to come and help us when Bob's finished. Oh, a car wash? Phew! I'm glad I'm going with you, Bob. Good morning, everybody. Oh, hello, Mr. Dixon. What do you have there? It's a special delivery for Bob, Wendy. Thanks, Mr. Dixon. I've been waiting for this to get here. What is it, Bob? Yeah, what's in the box, Bob? It's the new metal detector I ordered. What do you want a metal detector for, Bob? <laughs> Detecting metal, Muck. Oh, yeah, of course. (laughs) It beeps when you hold it over anything made of metal. Watch. Oh, that's really cool, Bob. Yeah, that's brilliant. I'm going to use it to find Farmer Pickle's metal water pipe. Then I can fix it. Hey, Bob, you can use it to find buried treasure. That's a great idea, Muck. We can have a look in Farmer Pickle's fields when we fixed his pipe. Fantastic. Okay, team. Can we fix it? Yes, we we can! can. Uh, Yeah, I think so. The first job is to dig the foundations for the car wash. Scoop, can you get started? No prob, Wendy. Hey, uh, Wendy! There's something shiny in the dirt! Oh, wow! 
treasure. <laughs> yes, we have, Dizzy. I bet Bob's going to find lots and lots of treasure with his metal detector. Hello, Farmer Pickles. We've come to fix your water pipe. Oh, good, Bob. I can only get a drop of water out of my faucets. I'll have it fixed in no time, Farmer Pickles. Have you found the pipe yet, Bob? Not yet, Muck. Have you found the pipe yet, Bob? <laughs> Not yet, Muck. Yes, I have! Wow! Oh, uh, wow! Dig right here, Muck, and be very careful not to hit the pipe. Okay, Bob! Good work, Muck. Okay, first we have to turn off the water supply. Oh, done already, Bob? Yes, your faucets should all be working fine now. Oh, that's great. Okay, Lofty, you'd better go help Wendy with the car wash. Oh, okay, Bob. Farmer Pickles, um, is it okay if I use my metal detector to look for treasure in your fields? Oh, <laughs> of course, Bob. Thanks, Farmer Pickles. Okay, Muck, let's go treasure hunting. Yeah! There, we've connected the water supply. The next job is to put down the concrete foundation and put in the frame for the car wash. It's time to make cement, Dizzy. Oh, brilliant! Have you found any treasure yet, Bob? Not yet. Oh, now we have. Dig right here, Muck. Hello, Bob. Hello, Buck. What are you doing? Hi, Spud. We're digging for treasure. Oh, can I help? Bob! Bob! I, I found something! Oh, it's just a set of handlebars from an old bike. <laughs> can I have your treasure, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> yes, here you are, Spud. Oh, thanks, Bob. This will be great for scaring crows. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Spud's on the job! <laughs> Look out, crows! <laughs> Come on, Buck. Let's try the next field. Oh, uh, hello, Wendy. I've, um, come to help. Great, Lofty. You're just in time to help us install these rollers. Uh, what are the rollers for, Wendy? Well, they spin around and rub the cars clean, Dizzy. Um, Lofty, could you pick this one up and put it into place? Yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Lofty? Oh, it, it tickles. Oh, oh Lofty. <laughs> oh, you big goof. Uh, Wendy, I can't. Uh, I can't pick it up. It's making me... <laughs> oh, Lofty. I'll do it, Wendy. I... <laughs> For me to pick up. Ugh. Hey, huh? It's heavy, but it's, it's not tickling me. Yeah, that's because you're wearing gloves, Wendy. Oh, yes. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Let's see if we can find something here. Okay, Bob. Wow. I must have found something really big. Maybe it's the rest of that old bike? Or a treasure chest. Wow. Dig here, Muck. Oh, no, Bob. I hit something. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. It's the main water pipe. And I've broken it. Bob, I was trying to give Scruffy a drink, but there's no water coming out of my faucets at all. I'm afraid that's my fault, Farmer Pickles. We were digging for treasure, and we accidentally cracked the main water pipe. Oh, dear, Bob. Can you fix it? Yes, I can. Luckily, I've got an extra piece of pipe in Muck's dumper. What are you doing? 
going, Wendy? I've used the cement sacks to make some gloves for Scoop and Lofty. Oh, oh yeah, gloves on. That's really, uh, that's really handy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's great, Wendy. Oh, handy, <laughs> Goofy Rolly. <laughs> <laughs> Pipes fix, Farmer Pickles. Your water should be back on. Oh, that's great, Bob. Are you going to look for any more treasure? I don't think so. I think I've done enough metal detecting for one day. Uh, there. Finished. Hi, Wendy. Oh, wow. You two are really muddy. How did the treasure hunting go? Oh, it was a disaster. We didn't find any treasure at all. Oh, dear. Hey, the car wash looks great. Uh, Wendy, isn't that the coin we... Uh, uh, Bob, uh, why don't you use your metal detector to see if there's any treasure around here? Oh, well, I suppose I could give it one last try. Oh, I think I found something. Wow, it's a coin. Oh, you found a treasure! Oh, you well, yeah. Yeah. You've got eyes like an eagle. <laughs> oh, now... Who wants to help me with a very important job? I'll help you. No, I can job. try. I think Muck was first. Okay, Muck. Close your eyes and roll forward. Left a bit. Right a bit. Right. Stop now. So, what's the important job, Wendy? Uh, trying out the car wash. Oh, no! Wendy, getting washed is no fun. <laughs> 